so good evening friends so we'll start uh, the pay 570 some numericals and some questions answers so b31.3 page 84 acceptance criteria for welds visual and radiographic examination if you see this 341.3.2 there is A, B, G, H, A, something there. Earth meter group and branch connection. Normal and category M fluid service. Severe cyclic. Category D. So these are already you see what are meaning of M fluid, toxic and all. And severe cyclic, high pressure. These are... Uh, Some utility lines. So, what is the meaning of this A A A? That is written there. In the next page is given. A is the extent of imperfection zero. No evident imperfection. B. Cumulative length of the incomplete penetration less than or equal to 38 mm, 15 inch, 1.5 inch, sorry, any in any 150 mm, 6 inch weld length or 25% of the total weld length, whichever is less, like that A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So you have to follow where two limiting values are separated by and the lesser of the values determines the acceptance. Where two sets of values separated by or the larger value acceptable. Pw is the nominal wall thickness of the thinner of the two components joined by a butt weld. So here also notes are there, just go through this so that it is okay for you. Any questions you can ask me. Let us do other questions. The maximum depth of undercut for a girth build in normal fluid service having a thickness of 0.5 inches, 13 mm is depth of undercut. Or girth, while thickness 0.5 inches. Undercutting. There is cut in metal world. H. Depth of undercut. Less than 1 mm, less than equal to TW by 4. And so this lesser value determines the acceptance. What is the maximum permissible height of weld reinforcement for a girth weld in a normal fluid service for piping having a wall thickness of 3 by 8 inch 10 mm? Height of reinforcement of internal protrusion or So you have to see reinforcement table.
or 10 milli. Greater than 6, less than 13. Less than equal 3. And that is what the longitudinal group world of normal fluid service has been radiographed and contains incomplete penetration of 20 mm in a 150 mm length of world. Incomplete penetration. And then what? Twenty mm in one fifty mm length of world. What action required? Incomplete penetration is not permitted. Let us see. Incomplete penetration. There is A, B, C. Let's see what is written there. Incomplete penetration. In B is there. Twenty five per cent of the total weight length. And it is a normal fluid surface. Normal category M. So that is A. Always A. Incomplete. Is. Not girth matter. It is longitudinal groove, so it is a so not acceptable. Reject the world. Incomplete penetration is not permitted for for normal fluid. Longitudinal groove world in a twelve mm thick pipe. In category D fluid service has been visually examined and reinforcement height is 7 millimeter. What is the action required? Reduce the reinforcement height to a minimum of 6 mm and accept it. Limit is twice the value applicable for L above. What is the action to be taken if a spot random RT examination on a spot sample reveals a weld defect? RT two additional samples of the same kind by the same builder. What would be usual extent of examination for butt weld this normal glass fluid service piping? The random VT and random RT for UT. It would be usual extent of examination for butt weld in severe cyclic condition service piping 100% BT, 100% RT or UT. 
what is the spot radiography requirement for longitudinal googles with a joint factor of EJ 0.9? At least 3 m, 100 mm per 30 mm of weld for each welder. 30 meter, 300 mm. What is the spot radiography recommended for circumferential crew welds? Not less than one shot in one in 20 welds for each welder. Under what circumstances can in-process examination be carried out by those personnel performing the production work? When the manufacturer or installer deem is necessary. Hydrostatic leak testing. PT equal to 1.5 P. ST by S. P is the design pressure. It is the minimum test pressure. Stress value at temperature, at the test temperature, stress value at design temperature. ST by S not to exceed 6.5. The PT would produce a nominal stress above SY, PT may be reduced. So you have to find Minimum temperature with how much the value and P number. Let's see. Calculate the hydrostatic, hydrostatic leak test. So, 106 with uh, there is design temperature, maybe 650. STM 106 grade B, maximum 650 and 400 PSI. And hydrostatic leak test at 100 Fahrenheit. So just to find out at 100, 20,000, and here 17,300. So 20 by 17.3, because all thousand will go out. Don't do that into 400. E is 400. PSI, operation, pressure, 1.5, that is 694 PSI. Answer. To minimize the risk of brittle fracture during a pressure test, the metal temperature should maintain at 30 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 degrees centigrade above MDMT for piping that is more than 2 inch thick and 10 degrees Fahrenheit, 6 degree above the MDMT for piping under the thickness 2 inch or less. Test temperature need not exceed <coughs> 120 degrees centigrade, Fahrenheit, 50 degrees centigrade unless there is information on the brittle characteristics of the piping construction material indicating the higher test temperature is needed. Hydrostatic click test. Piping system designed at 500 PSI and 500 degrees Fahrenheit is to be hydrostatically tested at its test temperature conducted at 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Pipe material 106 grade A welded with A to 34 WPV. So schedule 80 and PS6. What is the code required hydrostatic test pressure? Stress ratio 106 uh, grade A, STS by S equal to 1. And stress ratio of 234 WPB is ST by S equal to 20 by 19. 1.052. 
In those cases where the piping system may be made of equivalent lengths of more than one material, STB S ratio shall be based on minimum calculated ratio, that is 1, so 1.5 P1, that is 1.5 500, 750 PSI. Pneumatic leak test, pneumatic pressurizing piping system with gas and checking for leaks. Gas shall be non-flammable and non-toxic. Test pressure shall be 110% design pressure, shall not exceed lesser of 1.33 times design pressure. The pressure that should exceed 90% of the pressure described in para PT 1.1% P. First stage pressurizing less than 0 0.5 PT or 25 PSI. Preliminary leak, uh, leak check inspection pressure is required, PT by P. It equal to P. Leak check is made after pressure is lowered to design pressure. Pressure relief device is required. The setting of pressure relief device less than PT plus lesser than 10% PT or 50 PSI. A pneumatic leak test. Pneumatic test is to be conducted using SME B31.3 methodology in piping. Having design pressure of 200 PSI, which of the following meets the methodology of B31.3 regards test pressure, inspection pressure, safety valve pressure, and first test of pressuring respectively. Test pressure shall be 110% of design pressure, 1.1 of 200, that is 220 PSI. Preliminary leak is 200 PSI. And the pressure relief device, 1.1 of 200, 220, that is 220 plus less than 10%, 220, 2 or 50 PSI. So setting pressure relief valve 242, the so lesser of 2. So, raise to 42. So, fastest pressuring 0.5 of PT or 25 PSI or means maximum. So, fastest pressuring and here, here is lesser, less than, okay, is written less. 0.5 of uh, 220, 25 PSI. So, 25 PSI is the first. The answer is 220 PSI, 200 PSI, 242 PSI, 25 PSI. So that is the answer. B. Testing initial service leak test. Initial service pressurizing piping with service fluid and checking for leaks. Pressure increase in steps to operating pressure preliminary leak check is required. The fluid is a gas. Required leak test, hydrostatic, hydrostatic test is required except the owner may choose to use the initial service leak test for category D fluid service. The owner may choose the pneumatic leak test if sick or he. Consider the hydrostatic test impractical. The owner may use the alternative leak test if he considers both hydrostatic and pneumatic test impractical, impractical, and if hydrostatic test would cause damage, lining, or internal insulation, residual liquid would be hazardous, or there is danger of brittle fracture, and pneumatic test would present an undue hazard or there is a danger of brittle fracture. General requirement for leak test. Special provision for testing. Piping components and sub-assemblies. Piping components sub-assemblies may be tested either separately or as assembled piping. Plan joints. Plan joints used to connect piping components and sub-assemblies that have previously been tested and plan joints at which blank and blind is used to isolate equipment or other piping during any 
need not be leak tested in accordance with para 341.1. General requirement for leak test. Closure welds. The final weld connecting piping system to a component that has been successfully tested in accordance with para 341 need not be leak tested, provided the weld is examined in process in accordance with 100% radiographic examination in accordance with 100% ultrasonic examination, either or. So, there is golden joint. Uh, ACM5, article 10, T1030 equipment, gauges, gauge range, the dial indicating recording pressure gauges are used in leak testing. They should preferably have dials graduated over the range of approximately double the intended maximum pressure, but not no case shall range be less than one and a half, nor more than four times the pressure. You can start coating activities prior to following test, except leak, sensitive leak test. When dial type indicating that recording pressure gauges are used, <coughs> leak testing the maximum gauge range shall not exceed multiple of the expected test pressure four times. When can an initial service leak test replace the hydrostatic leak test when the system is category D piping system and the owner permits it? What is the purpose of preliminary pneumatic test? Check the major leaks using the maximum air pressure of 25 psi prior to hydrostatic testing. What is the minimum leak test should be maintained 10 minutes? Under what circumstances can a closure weld be exempted from leak testing when the assembly has been leak tested and the weld is 100% BT and RT? Piping system is designed to 300 psi, 700 degrees Fahrenheit, the allowable stress value for test temperature 20 psi, the allowable stress at design temperature 15 psi. Which of the following pressure is to be used in a pneumatic test? The pressure test shall be 110% of design pressure, 1.1. Three hundred. So that is three thirty. No, there none of there is. The piping system design of five hundred psi, six hundred degrees Fahrenheit is hydrostatically tested at a temperature hundred degrees Fahrenheit. Pipe material is hundred six grade B welded with two thirty four WPV eighty MP. Six. What is the code requirement hydrostatic test? So there are 31.3 hydrostatic leak test. Stress ratio for 106 is 1.1173. Test ratio for a 234 WPB is ST by S equal to some imprinting here. <coughs> so it is 1.1173. That is 20 only. In those cases where the piping systems may be made of equivalent length more than one material based on minimum. So 1.1173 so into 1.5 into 500, 838 PSI. What is the spot radiography? Recommendation for circumferential groove welds, not less than one sort in 20 welds for each welder. What is the spot radiography requirement for longitudinal groove welds with a joint vector EG is 300 mm for 30 meter of weld. What is the usual extent of examination but welds with severe cyclic 100% BT, 100% RT or UT? Usual extent of examination for but welds, normal class fluid. Random BT, random UT, or RT. But the extent to be taken if spot and random RT examination 
in a sample reveals a well defect rtf2 additional samples of the same kind by same welder longitudinal groove weld at 12 mm thick pipe category d fluid has been visually examined and has reinforcement height 7 mm So height of reinforcement and internal protrusion or tape, you meet up twice the value applicable for the LR work. So it is three. So maximum permissible height is six. So reduce the reinforcement height to a maximum of six milli and then accept it. Longitudinal Google is normal fluid service has been radiographed and content incomplete penetration of 20. So reject the world already seen, I think so. First year qualification by others. Subject to specific approved, approval of the inspector welding procedure qualified by others may be used provided that all several conditions are met. One of these conditions is that the procedure meets the requirement of section 9 and any additional qualification requirement of this code. The employer has qualified at least one welder operator following each WPS. The employer business names are shown in WPS and each qualification test qualification records shall be signed and written by employer, thereby accepting responsibility for the qualification performed by other. All of the above is the answer. So, an DG inside diameter of the gasket for the raised or flat face flanges or the gasket pitch diameter. There are two things. So if ID is given, no need to pitch, find pitch. If it is not given, find pitch diameter. So thank you, gentlemen.